We're here with Aaron Carlson, uh, the Suniac one meter champ from last night's Suniac meet. Congratulations, Aaron. Thank you very much. Uh, it was a consistent performance for you throughout the event, so let's talk a little bit about how things went in preliminaries and what you carried over into the evening. So how did you think things started out during early, earlier in the day? Uh, preliminaries were really good. I hit all my dives uh, for our volunteers, which are five easy dives, and it got me really confident going into uh, our ops, which are our hard dives that we compete normally through the year. Um, I was consistent on all my approaches, so that made me really confident with all my outs, and it, it felt really good being able to be up there in prelims and, and ahead of the, the pack, so that when it came to finals, I could kind of relax and say, hey, if I hit everything the way I did in prelims and I'm nice and relaxed, I don't even have to try that much harder than, than prelims, and I can I can be up there and, and be shooting for the title. So it was it was really just came down to being consistent on the board, being confident in my ability, knowing that I can do it. Was there a point in the during the competition when you when you could feel your confidence go up after you hit a certain dive? Is that how it works for you? Or uh, it's kind of like that. I know my first two dives are are, are pretty much hits all the time. Um, I'm very consistent with them. My third dive, which is which is a harder dive, it's a reverse. So you're walking forward and you're going backwards. And I had a, a rough approach. I almost fell off the board, but I, I stood it up really well and I hit that. And after I hit that, I, I knew that the rest of my dives were going to come along pretty pretty easily, and it made me a lot happier. And then the evening session, uh, at what point did you know you had it nailed and you were going to be the champion? Uh, came down to the last two dives. After I hit my, my second to last dive, I knew I, I pretty much had to stick my last dive in the water. As long as it was legal and I didn't fail it, I knew I had a shot at winning. So it, it really came down to the last two dives. When I knew I had my last two dives were good, I knew I was going to be up there. And now the three meters next. Uh, that's tomorrow, and uh, what, do you, what do you look forward to tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow's just consistency with my hurdles. Um, whether I hit anything or not, we'll, we'll, it, it'll be what it, it is, but I really just want to be uh, careful and calm on all my approaches and have good jumps on everything. If I'm missing out, I'm missing out, but if I can stand everything up and be, and be really um, consistent with all my takeoffs, then I'll be happy. Well, for you, it's been a, four great years of diving here at Fredonia. You've uh, been an All-American, what is it, six times? Five uh, times, yeah. Five times. Uh, talk a bit, of, a little bit about the experience of coming to Fronia and uh, having a diving career here that's uh, worthy of some great mention. I mean, it's it's uh, uh, my success is definitely my coaches and my teammates. Um, I have a pretty decent athletic ability and and I work pretty hard. But when it comes down to it, I've had some great coaches and all my teammates are so supportive. Uh, we had two PRs yesterday. I broke the school record, and my my buddy had a Jake Storms had his personal best in four years and. Once again, Aaron Carlson, uh, Suniac one meter champion uh, last night, goes for the three meter tomorrow. Good luck tomorrow, Aaron. Thank you very much.